It's April 29th, 2024, and I'm starting this week off very peculiarly. I mean, very peculiar. Um, I, it was going to be a sixth grade class. I was going to sub for today at Mariners Elementary, so I'm at Mariners. But they did a switch, long explanation short. They told me the explanation, and I'm now doing like a special day class here, and there's only going to be four students and like three aides or something. Um, and the reason is because the sixth grade teacher is going to end up being gone all week, and they just want the same sub every day of the week so they gave me this one and I'm like well I did something similar at Harborview a couple weeks ago so can't wait to see how this day is going to turn out. Well so far so good they did their morning activities outside and inside their morning routines and then just went over to the library and it's recess now so um, uh, I got to show a few tricks and everyone is uh, pretty excited including the aides. The aides are uh, pretty much taking over and I'm just helping out when needed. And so that ended up being an excellent day. There are times when there's only one student and other times when there's like two. Uh, there's times when they play like Magic School Bus or uh, Curious George. Uh, there's times when I got help in reading and math and uh, it was just a wonderful day. At the very end of the day, I just did like, uh, I guess a magic and juggling show. Again, not real magic. But even a couple of the aides were like, what, how'd you do that? And uh, all the uh, students, their mouths dropped and everything. So very glad that this day worked out. Again, I was expecting sixth grade, not a, a special day class or special education class. But I make sure that everything's an adventure and, and uh, just more opportunities to learn and to do my part in helping a, a diversity of students. And during lunch and second recess, tons of students from other classes were asking to see tricks too. So I showed them a couple of like card tricks and the pen through the dollar trick and everything. And so it was a good day today. Can't wait for next time. It is now the first day of May. I'm over here at Kellybrook Elementary School. I'm subbing for a fourth grade class, half day, and it's early dismissal, so I'm only here for like an hour and a half or so. I subbed for this teacher before last December 14th, as well as for music last September 11th. And so when I walked through the door around the classroom and to where the teacher was standing at the desk, um, all the students started to applaud, like slowly increasing in volume. Uh, when they saw me, the teacher looked at me, smiled, and said, um, you're like a celebrity here, here or something like that. And I'm like, I, I do the best I can as a substitute teacher to the best of my ability. So they were working on math up until lunch, and then after lunch, there's like Island of the Blue Dolphin reading, and then pack up, and then dismissal. And I was telling the teacher that Island of the Blue Dolphin is what we read when I was in fourth grade several, several, several years ago. And so today we're doing chapter 22. I feel very blessed for having this opportunity today. Uh, this morning, I couldn't work because I had a radio interview, a live radio interview, the Catherine Zahn show and we were talking for a half hour about autism and my new book and everything and then a week from today I have a couple of uh, interviews too one on Instagram live and one for a radio that's I believe based in New York and so I'm sure the rest of the day will go well I'm glad I'm here it's May 3rd 2024 and I'm walking a few blocks to where I'm going to substitute that today and walking down the sidewalk actually brings back a lot of memories from like 16 17 years ago when I would walk to this exact school because I attended here And I'm subbing a fifth grade class here at Newport Heights Elementary School where I'm class of 2007. And what's amazing is that this was my fifth grade classroom 18 years ago, room 19. So it's very surreal to be back. This morning I immediately ran into my former third grade teacher who now teaches first grade, right before we entered the school gates in fact. And he was my teacher 20 years ago. I told him that I had extraordinary news along with a lot of other teachers who were here when I was a student here, as well as teachers and staff whom I met as a substitute teacher in the past couple of years. My extraordinary news is that yesterday I graduated Vanguard University. It was held at Mariners Church in Irvine and I made a big YouTube video summarizing the powerful day. And there were thousands of people there. If you want to watch that video, I'll leave a link to it in the card above and in the description below. And it's actually fulfillment of my second book, Unstoppable, where I talked about beginning the master's program in chapter 56. By fortuity, the office lady said that her niece graduated um, over there yesterday with the master's herself, but a different department. I feel very relieved that I am done. I mean, completely done. I have no plans for a doctorate degree. The bachelor's and master's were grueling. It took uh, several years, along with three additional semesters in 2021 and 2022 for a teaching credential. But these past three semesters for the masters was very grueling. I mean, I had to write like a total of eight chapters, nearly a hundred pages, not including all the, the books that we had to read, the several chapters, several chapter summaries, theory and research and all the presentations that we had to do. But you know what? I learned a lot and it was an excellent experience. A lot of the teachers are happy for me and feel very proud. In fact, uh, word is going around. Um, it's lunchtime now and I was just talking to one of the teachers, I believe one of the first grade teachers. And she was walking with her class and uh, she said, congratulations. Congratulations. 
and I showed her the picture of me in my um, cap and gown and the master's hood and a couple of her students was wondering what the big announcement was so they asked me and I said hey, I graduated college yesterday and those students smiled and said congratulations to me. One student from another class earlier today actually uh, recognized me um, knowing that I'm doing uh, television interviews so for my second book I feel uh, blessed that I've been in a lot of podcasts, radio, news, um, television interviews around the world. I'm spreading my message of autism awareness, acceptance, and appreciation, along with disabilities in general, and just saying that you could do whatever you set your heart and mind to do, including being a teacher if you want. Having autism shouldn't limit anybody, so I'm, I'm very uh, feel very fortunate to have these interviews, and there's more coming. The students today are great. I actually subbed for pretty much all of them last year when they were in fourth grade. And today's mainly reading and math. And uh, one of the students told me uh, a little while ago that uh, he remembers a trick that I taught everybody and he said that he did it with his family and, and stumped them. This morning I told them right away that I was a student here for four years and that was the longest flag deck this morning that I've ever experienced. It was nearly an hour long but there were tons and tons of awards and recognitions for students and teachers that they deserve. Part of it was announcing the Teacher for Day winners. In fact I was Teacher for Day twice in fourth grade and sixth grade and I mentioned that in chapter one of my book. I was also reflecting how 20 years ago this past Tuesday, April 30th, 2004, it was my last day in the keyboard after school program and I remember it quite well and um, I took a couple more music after school programs um, over the next uh, few years and then everything else is predominantly self-taught and within the past score I've got to do uh, a lot of things with music uh, including my two talent shows here in fourth grade and fifth grade where I play God Bless America and Ode to Joy respectively and within the past decade, I've been uh, the piano player at a few churches. So it's been an excellent week. I can't wait for next week. Just remember, disability or not, anybody could do whatever they set their heart and mind to do as long as it's practical, including if you want to pursue higher education like master's or doctorate, including if you want to be a teacher or any profession. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.